Greater Manchester Police had their asses handed to them on a plate by Judge Anthony Cross QC over the investigation of a prolific shoplifter. Now, we already have the 80,000 crimes that were failed to be recorded by Greater Manchester Police as it went into special measures in 21. We already have the failed IOPS computer system, which is said to be getting changed um, and is a waste of taxpayers' money to the sum of around £60 million and the inexcusable dereliction of duty when it came to the care of innocent children who were, well, you know. But this is a little different from children being assaulted on an industrial scale, as Greater Manchester Police and South Yorkshire Police turned a blind eye to. No, this instead is about their failure to investigate properly shoplifter Michael Gormley. Gormley was spotted multiple times by a security guard at Nasda supermarket, pilfering hundreds of pounds worth of booze and walking out the building via the fire escape. The security is said to have reported the thefts of Greater Manchester Police, offered up witness statements and CCTV evidence, but police bailed the man, allowing him to commit further offence. Apparently, months after the reports had been made that Gormley was involved in a, Gormley was involved in a high speed short car chase which he was eventually caught manchester crown court how gormley was seen walking into the store by security on april the 29th 2021 picking up 10 bottles of alcohol worth 290 pounds before running out of the store this is days after he was seen doing the same with 142 pounds worth of booze both in both incidents caught on store cctv Gormley is also said to have entered the store on June the 20th, I assume of the same year as it's not specific, approached the kiosk selling cigarettes, asked for two sleeves, that's 400, picked them up and simply walked out with them. However, Judge Anthony Cross QC picked up on the fact that he was not charged by police and the offence was not taken into consideration, leaving Gormley to return to the store the following day on June the 21st but on this occasion he was refused entry. However, the day after he was refused entry, he returned, this time actually making entry to the store, where he went on to steal five bottles of champagne worth £239, and yet again was caught on in-store CCTV. Judge Cross said this man had just been released from jail and was then released on bail. The police had red-hot evidence I want to know what efforts were made for the police to arrest a persistent thief who clearly was targeting Asda. It was, as I say, only a short pursuit that saw Gormley arrested and remanded in custody, where he later went on to admit offences of theft, dangerous driving, driving without insurance and driving without a licence. Three days before the first shoplifting offence in April, Gormley had been handed a community order for shoplifting back in August 2020. But even with breaches of his conditions, Greater Manchester Police still failed to act. Sentencing, Judge Cross QC said he could only pass sentence on the offences of which Gormley had admitted, namely two offences of theft and the driving offences. Although I thought Crown Court was the one with a jury where the offences are explained and the jury make a decision on the evidence whether someone is guilty or not meaning that their guilty or not guilty plea makes no difference in a Crown Court. Apparently not. Judge Cross then ordered the attendance in court of Greater Manchester Police Superintendent Helen Critchley, along with the officer in the case and the custody sergeant, where he said, I simply do not understand how it's 2022 and we are in a position of people reporting a crime to Greater Manchester Police when there is overwhelming evidence and no action is taken. This defendant has committed crimes in Harper Hay for years, and apart from a couple of visits to get him, no real police work was done to arrest him, so he was free to continue to commit crime as he wanted to. Judge Cross added that it was quite frankly miraculous that nobody was injured during a police pursuit. Gormley of Holtby Street was jailed for 28 months and banned from driving for six years. But, and I'm sure you are just as curious as I was as to the response that Greater Manchester Police Superintendent Helen Critchley, along with the officer in the case and the custody sergeant, gave to Judge Cross QC. Well, I can tell you, 
I've not been able to find that information anywhere at the time of this recording. No excuses, no explanation, nothing, nil, nada, zilch. Now I don't know if they just stood there looking at their feet in silence like some told off school kids or if they did reply but that the reply hasn't been reported anywhere. But it seems to me as though the statement by Judge Cross was one of those statements that's not a question but demands an answer. I for one would be incredibly interested in hearing what they had to say about this failure to act on overwhelming evidence. In fact, I think a lot of people out there would want to know what police could possibly consider an appropriate reason to not follow up on crimes that many people have reported with no action taken in the face of overwhelming evidence. But I fear it's not a question that we will ever have answered. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as no many of you will. And until next time, stay safe. Look after each other, film the police and other officials.